In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a trap lead using Synthmaster 1. Now, the most important part of this sound is pitch modulation. But first of all, let me configure the initial waveform. One of these great FM waveforms. It's mostly a square, so it's thick, but with these interesting harmonics. The next step, just a touch of unison. Adding in a second voice, a second layer, detuned a bit, giving some thickness. And then of course this pitch modulation. I'm going to do this in two components. First of all, an envelope to give it a bit of a tack, a very fast pitch modulation to define the start of every note. In the mod matrix down here, define source as mod envelope one, assign it to oscillator one pitch, make this multiply the value, and turn up the amount. Therefore, pitch will increase as the envelope value increases. And I'll configure maximum sustain with this attack, noting it's this attack time that determines the length of this initial pitch envelope. Here, the pitch rising very quickly. By making this time short, you don't hear it as a pitch modulation, but instead simply this interesting and exciting attack defining the start of the sound. Fantastic, and here's the really fun bit. I'm going to use an advanced LFO waveform to modulate pitch in a more interesting way. Assign it to pitch. Do you see how pitch is now modulated by this LFO shape? Noting you can adjust the speed. And very importantly, the start position using this phase control. Notice currently there's a fast wobble and then a slower one, just like the LFO. But if I adjust this phase, and finally finishing it off with some effects. First of all, some chorus to give it some interesting width. Noting with the speed at zero and a very different left and right delay, you get a very different effect. You get this interesting width. Finishing it off, of course, with some reverb. And there you have it, a trap lead. Thanks for watching.